In the heart of the New Testament, there is a remarkable story that exemplifies the power of prayer for peace even in the midst of life's storms. This story takes place on the Sea of Galilee and centers around Jesus and his disciples. One evening, after a day filled with teaching and performing miracles, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. Mark chapter 4 verse 35. They embarked on a boat, and Jesus, seemingly undisturbed by the journey, went to the stern and rested his head on a cushion, already in a state of peaceful sleep. However, as they sailed across the Sea of Galilee, an unexpected and fierce storm arose. The winds howled, the waves crashed over the boat, and the disciples found themselves in a perilous situation. Fear gripped their hearts, and they were convinced that they were about to perish. In their distress, they awakened Jesus, who had been sleeping so peacefully. They cried out, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Mark chapter 4 verse 38. Awakened by their frantic pleas, Jesus calmly rose from his resting place. With a voice that carried authority, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet. Be still. Mark chapter 4 verse 39. Instantly, the wind ceased, and the sea became perfectly calm. Then, Jesus turned to his disciples and asked, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Mark chapter 4 verse 40. His words were not meant to chastise but to teach. Jesus was demonstrating that even in the midst of a raging storm, his presence could bring peace. He wanted his disciples to understand that they didn't need to be paralyzed by fear when he was with them. This miraculous event left the disciples in awe. They marveled not only at Jesus' power over the elements, but also at his ability to bring calm to their hearts even when chaos reigned around them. The disciples had witnessed firsthand the profound truth that Jesus had taught them earlier. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John chapter 14 verse 27. They had seen that his peace was not dependent on external circumstances but could prevail even in the fiercest of storms. This story serves as a timeless reminder that, just as Jesus brought peace to the disciples on that tempestuous night, he can bring peace to our lives when we face our own storms. Through prayer, we can find solace and tranquility, knowing that the one who stilled the waves of the sea is with us, offering his peace to calm the storms within our hearts. May we, like the disciples, learn to turn to Jesus in prayer before sleeping, trusting that his peace will carry us through the night, regardless of the storms we may face. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to lay down to rest in the embrace of this night, I come before you with a heart that yearns for your peace and healing. In this moment of tranquility, I seek your presence, knowing that you are the source of solace and restoration for my weary soul. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus invites us to come to him when we are weary and burdened, promising us rest. Tonight, Lord, I come to you, surrendering my burdens and seeking the rest that only you can provide. Thank you, Lord, for your ever-present love. Your presence is like a gentle balm for my wounded heart. As I lay down to sleep, I find comfort in the knowledge that you are with me, watching over me with love and care. 
Psalm chapter 23 verse 1 3. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Psalm chapter 23 beautifully portrays the Lord as our shepherd, guiding us to places of rest and renewal. In his presence, our souls find refreshment and restoration. Lord, I come to you with a heart burdened by wounds and sorrows. You are the great physician, the one who binds up the brokenhearted and offers healing to the wounded soul. Psalm chapter 147 verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God's healing power and his capacity to mend the brokenhearted. Lean on God and allow him to continue the process of healing your broken heart. Tonight, I release my anxieties and fears into your loving hands. Your word assures me that I need not be anxious about anything, for your peace surpasses all understanding. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. These verses from Philippians remind us of the peace that comes from casting our anxieties upon the Lord in prayer. As I prepare to sleep, I turn to your word, Lord, like a soothing lullaby for my soul. Your word is a refuge, a source of strength, and a healer of the heart. Psalm chapter 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. These verses emphasize the guidance and illumination that God's word provides as we navigate life's path. Tonight, Lord, I meditate on your word, allowing it to penetrate the depths of my soul. May it wash away the stains of worry and sorrow, renewing me from the inside out. Psalm chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The perfection and trustworthiness of God's word, which has the power to refresh and make us wise. Heavenly Father, your peace surpasses all human understanding. I yearn for your peace to guard my heart and mind, dispelling anxiety and filling me with serenity. John chapter 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus promises to leave his peace with us. A peace that transcends worldly circumstances. As I close my eyes tonight, I place my trust in your plan, Lord, knowing that your ways are higher than mine. May your will be done in my life, and may I find peace in surrendering to your divine wisdom. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God's plans for us are filled with hope and a future. Trusting in his plan brings peace to our hearts. Heavenly Father, I am grateful for this moment of quiet reflection and communion with you. As I lay down to sleep, I release all that troubles my heart into your loving care. I trust in your healing touch and your boundless love. May I awaken tomorrow with a heart that is refreshed, a spirit that is renewed, and a soul that is restored. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.